that sound with DAMP Natasha Mazon. She joins us here on the line. Natasha, very, very good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. Good morning, lovely to be with you. Now, many people are of the view that the writing has been uh, on the wall, that this will indeed happen. How do you respond to that as the DA? Well, I think it's no secret that this is the second of motion of no conscience has gone through uh, against uh, Maid Lil, the first one not succeeding, this one uh, being successful. I think it's important to realize that there are very serious allegations that have been leveled against uh, Maid Lil, which have uh, culminated in, in her caucus losing confidence in her. Um, overwhelmingly, by a 70% margin last night, the council president voted for the motion of no confidence. And uh, this is obviously a very serious matter and something that the DA views in a very, very serious light. But in terms of the numbers, we're reporting this morning that uh, the numbers have not yet been officially released, although we're seeing on social media that it looks like uh, 97 votes went in favour, 41 against the motion, one spoiled and 15 absent or did not vote. Are you able to tell us the numbers as it is now? Yes, in fact, the DA did release those numbers officially last night in a statement that I released about 15 minutes after the vote uh, for clarity. I made it very clear that 97 councillors voted for the motion, 41 voted against, and 15, 15 were absent, and there was one spoiled ballot, and in the 15 absent, that includes the one vacancy that exists in the, in the Cape Town City Council. All right, so w w what happens now, because we're reporting that uh, the DA's uh, federal executive will now have to invite Mayor Delil to make uh, her representations to say why she should not be removed. That's right. Uh, Jane Self, the chairperson of the federal executive, will write to Mayor Delil to ask her to provide reasons to the federal executive of the DA as to why the notion of no confidence should not stand. Um, this, she's been given until uh, Wednesday, the 2nd of May, close of business, to produce these, these documents for us. Um, these documents will then be studied by the Federal Executive of the Democratic Alliance. Um, and it can go uh, one of three ways. Either the Federal Executive can sustain uh, the submissions made by Mayor Delil and uh, discuss legal actions um, and overturn the motion of no confidence. Or if, if we find that her uh, submissions are not substantiated, we will ask her to resign, um, failing which uh, she will be given 48 hours to do so, failing which her membership will be terminated. So um, we're waiting for her submissions and then we'll study the submissions as they come in. Mm. Let's just focus a little bit on this uh, recall clause that was approved at uh, the DA's recent uh, Congress. Was it merely approved to get rid of uh, Patricia DeLille, seeing that the DA could not uh, get its way with a previous motion of no confidence? Absolutely not. It's, certainly it's not a recall clause. It's an accountability clause, and it's very clearly stated and named accountability clause. Uh, Mayor DeLille is not the first person uh, who has uh, faced this accountability clause. In fact, the executive in the Matikama municipality has had this clause enacted against her, and a similar request has come from the Stellenbosch municipality to enact this clause. The reason we have this clause is to ensure accountability. In the DA, we don't legislate for a single individual. We legislate for a party in general. And given the fact that we are the party of accountability and clean governance, we must make sure that we have mechanisms at our disposal to ensure that if any of our members are not adhering to the strict governance and accountability standards of the Democratic Alliance, we have measures that we can take against them to ensure that the South African public always comes first. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, talking to the journalists last night after this uh, decision was made, uh, Mayor Delil was basically saying that if she has to, she would challenge the constitutionality of this particular clause. Do you really think that she has a, a, a case in this regard? Because she's basically saying that this was adopted and implemented on a case that was already in existence. I think that Maydell has, like every South African, the right to approach any court she chooses to, to approach. Um, that, that's our democratic right, and it's one of the joys of living in a free and democratic society. If Maydell chooses to test it in court, by all means, she can test it in court, but the Democratic Alliance is quite sure of the, uh, the validity of our clauses.
All right, we have to leave it alone, I'm afraid. Natasha, thank you so much for coming through. Natasha Mazon, uh, a DAMP, of course, talking to us about a decision by uh, the party's caucus in the city council yesterday where they voted on a motion of no confidence against Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Patricia DeLille.